so welcome to the five vibrational levels of self for manifesting. We just started the recording and I so want you to know again why I do this. I know your pure energy. I know the light that you're here to shine so brightly can only be um, either accentuated or hidden by you. No one else can do what you're here to do. And when you do what you're here to do, what begins to be created for the world is the possibility of oneness, the possibility of peace, the possibility of joy reflected back to you at every moment. This five vibrational being, the five vibrational levels of self, or for manifesting is really to allow you again to set yourself free from negative thought patterning for you to create a new way of thinking being doing and having for you to transform your life your mind and energy one thought one subtle moment at a time and it's ultimately for you to be amazing. <laughs> Having gotten back from uh, Egypt, we had an amazing time. And we were able to, the small group, experience over and over again a sense of wow, wonder, miraculous, magical flow moment by moment to experience things that no one else has experienced before. Our tour leader, tour guide in Egypt, 43 years of leading tours, said, wow, I've never seen another group manifest this. I've never seen people be in such miraculous flow. Um, and for there to be conscious utilization of the Magi, the magi, magi, the magical being that you are within yourself. No one else can do that for you. There are very specific intentions within your miraculous adult that only you can realize. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a papyrus from right behind me. I love this ancient papyrus right here and I, this is the uh, the tree of life and this has birds on it this bird right here is the child this let me go make sure I'm touching this correctly here is the child this is the child this is the adolescent bird right here this is the young adult bird here is the true adult, and here is the miraculous adult. And um, the way that this is positioned and shown, it's shown throughout the temples in Egypt with the different, it refers to different abilities that you have within yourself, within the miraculous adult lives all the other birds and in certain areas in your life you are ready to express the miraculous adult in other areas you express the child in other areas yet you're co-creating for reality more and more ways that it can express itself the further that you go in your development the further all of reality goes into its development. So I want to describe out for you so that you're able to, one, know for yourself who, which bird, <laughs> which bird are you being moment to moment. And you can also, if you're with another, recognize which bird might be acting out with you in the moment. And again, we're not just one of these birds. 
in certain areas of our life, we are the miraculous adult already. We are experiencing deep connection to oneness. We create, co-create with source in that area. We live in magic and flow, and we utilize our ability to call in source, to give answers, to create for another or for ourselves. That's the miraculous adult. The true adult has a great consciousness, has a great sense of responsibility. True adult, and I'm going to describe these with stories and with, um, with ways that you can navigate, move from one to the other. The, the young adult needs to control and dominate and manipulate and be certain and be sure that, and much of our society is functioning as this control, dominate, trying to get you to be a particular way, but for them to be okay. You might, in certain areas, but want a particular result and think it might come from being this young adult, controlling, dominating, making sure that everything is crossed off and all the T's dominating, rather than being in conscious choice or taking responsibility, or which is the true adult, or coming from magic and flow, which is the miraculous adult. You might be in certain areas of your life looking for belonging, approval, and validation. Many people look for that, that adolescent stage within their work or within the areas of finance. They're looking for belonging and approval and validation. Then um, in certain areas, there's neediness and dependency, and that's of the child. That's the child vibration of manifesting, um, the child vibration of self. And so when I was out in the world um, in non-government organizations working as a doctor, working as a researcher, as a student, I was a very miraculous adult. I would meet people and get the products, get the medicine, get the help that I needed. It was very, very easy for me to do that. And kind of every area of my life, I was expressing myself as a miraculous adult, except for the area of love. I had made a decision in that area that I wouldn't go out on dates, I wouldn't um, be with anybody, and part of that today I understand is I was so wounded and so hurt. I wanted to control and um, dominate and make sure that I didn't get hurt, so I, I set up all of these rules and I could be miraculous in my service to others. But when it came to my love life, I was a wounded child. I was at best um, a young adult. And when I met Greg, when I met my husband at a um, concert in Nashville, he kind of said all of the right things. He's like, I won't ever get married. I don't want... Um, to have those kinds of complications in my life. And so I thought, oh, we can be friends and there's no romantic um, hangups here. And so because there was this parameter, this boundary around us that we had both created. I had rules. I'm like, I don't kiss on the first date. I only go out with you once. If you wind up being romantic or having romantic interests, we can't even be friends. And he set me at ease when he said, oh, I'm not even looking to get married. I'm just looking for friendship. This is one of the ways that I could move from the child into adolescent, young adult, true adult, miraculous adult, because all of a sudden my fears were alleviated. 
I'm going to share with you here when he and I got married and um, began creating our life together, I recognized then that I was a child, a child in the way that I received from him from the universe. I wanted Greg or my parents to be the person to give to me. And for every other person, every other situation, being a doctor, being a medical intuitive, I gave freely everywhere in every direction. But when it came to receiving even compliments or security, I would only receive that from my parents or from my husband. I was childlike. I was adolescent or even young adult in my ability to receive. And it made my world very, very small. My giving made it huge. My miraculous adult could give. But I didn't feel safe in receiving. And so I was stuck as a needy child, a dependent child in the area of love, in the area of providing for myself, in the area of even time. I wanted him to be what we lovingly call the, you know, the timekeeper. The, if I didn't wake up on time, again, very childlike, very adolescent, um, I would blame him. How do you know which area of your life you're childlike or you're the child? It's where you're casting blame. And I break up the word blame into be lame, B-E-L-A-M-E. Lame means have no power in, can't take steps in. So if you're saying, oh, I would only write a book if these parameters, if my husband was a particular way or my clients were a particular way or I had more time. You are being lame. You are belaming something outside yourself. And um, that is the core of that goes back to being at the vibrational level of dependent on something outside yourself. And um, you, in certain areas, will be seeking belonging and approval and validation. So just the other day, I was at a Roman restaurant, and I shared this story yesterday as well for those that were on. Much of this is all brand new. It will, if you get a chance to watch yesterday's broadcast or webinar, on the five vibrational levels of self. It's completely different from this one, but I did share this story, which is I was in Rome. I was um, with my son the day before, yesterday. I wanted to practice my Italian. I wanted to show up fabulous. And uh, with the waitress, you know, oh my gosh, not very good Italian. All of a sudden, I was judging myself because I was looking at her face for whether I was being approved of, whether I was um, being validated by her. And the confusion on her face, I was co-creating a vibrational level within myself that was judging me based on whether she approved of me or not. And it's very interesting. It was like, uh, because when you understand that you are pure energy restricted by a body, you are pure energy restricted by your own thoughts, you are pure energy that might be judging your emotions rather than using your emotions to amplify what's possible for you. Maybe here, I'd love to start the PowerPoint. 
Oh, awesome. And so who I was being was not a miracle maker in that moment. I was being a um, very adolescent stage. I wanted this waitress to approve of me. And um, belong, and I have no idea where she was in her process. But if she smiled or nodded, I would have been lit up. And because she didn't, I was kind of reading my energy. And thank goodness that she showed up because I recognized an area that I was still seeking uh, validation or approval or belonging in Egypt in these beautiful like the great pyramids the the way the sacred geometry the flow the energy is what's behind me there is but collectively in our group we were being the miraculous adult and so within the great chamber of the pyramids People that normally wouldn't participate were participating in doing things that would elevate human consciousness. We went to Egypt with the, the intention of creating love your neighbor as yourself, love yourself as your neighbor as the foundation of all religions, community organizations, governments. That level of consciousness or awareness being at, um, at the main focus. Our group also went with the intention of co-creating that there is more than a, enough. Many, many people in government and all over the world believe in zero-sum equation. And what that means is if I have a little bit more, then somewhere else, someone else has a little bit less. That's the zero sum equation. If the if my husband gives to me, then he can't give to our children is an example of zero sum equation. Or if we give to a little bit more to corporations, then people will suffer. If we give a little bit more to the common person, then corporations will suffer. That's the zero sum equation. Whereas the miraculous adult or the consciousness that we were creating there is there's more than enough for everyone. And so we did ceremony and activations for all community and government organizations to have the mindset that there's more than enough abundance and that we can co-create a world that works for everyone based on love your neighbor as yourself and based on when you give to one organization and you do not necessarily take away from other organizations. You just have to generate but miraculously more. But when you give, more will be given to you is um, and giving to common people, giving to um, any in any area can create more giving. So this is Nikola Tesla. If you wish to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. If we change our collective thinking from zero sum equation, meaning there's not enough. If you give to one, then it, it um, then someone else has to go without. When you think win win synergy, the more you give, the more you will have to give. That's the universe. That's energy. That's frequency. That's possibility vibrational thinking. Oops, I went backwards there. Um, and this is what we're talking about, the five vibrational levels of self for manifesting. What's manifesting? Mana means hand. Festing means celebration. When you give what's in your hands, you have the, and you celebrate that giving, 
wow, more can be given to you. That's the miraculous adult state. And as a young doctor, as a young medical student, as a young researcher, I would give, give, give without hesitation because I knew more was available within medicine, within the organizations, because I felt miraculous in my conversations, miraculous in my ability to give, and I had such a desire for everyone to know the light of their being. And during those times, I could really give to people that I knew had very little. And when I stepped into marriage and stepped into developing relationships for myself, I recognized my own neediness, my own dependency, and that I was at the zero-sum equation and that I wanted my husband or my family to give to me, to give and then I wanted everyone to approve and validate me. And in those areas that I was showing up in the world, um, my friendships, my relationships, my gatherings, I would go and I would give, give, give. I would give presents. I would give stories. I would give time. But whenever someone gave something to me, I was stuck in the young adult until I healed my wounded child, until I healed that need for belonging and approval. And it still shows up. Whenever something affects me, I know one of these five beings, the child within me, the adolescent, the young adult, the true adult, or maybe even the miraculous adult, is looking to inform me of, of something. Every situation can inform you or affect you. And if my husband says, are you going to wear that? Um, and playfully, because we're at such a high degree with ourselves, I can go to, what do you mean by that? Uh, or what do you think? Whereas if my mom or dad were to say, are you going to wear that? I might have be affected by that. Because I want my parents and my husband and my kids to have a, um, a different way of being with me. The true adult feels greater conscious choice and response ability. The true adult. So when I am the true adult version of myself and the way that I show up in the world, response, ability, someone shares a problem with me, I begin looking for the possibilities or someone shows up in my life, I really receive that in every relationship as a response ability, my ability to respond. Any new information that affects me, I think of what I really, really want. What is it that I really, really want? And then it informs me. It helps I am able to go into forming a new reality, the miraculous adult create from source, live in the magic and the flow, and um, the intentions to receive what the universe already wants to give, and to take what the universe already wants to give and create more possibility with it. Um, and so there, there are powerful tools, and those powerful tools Live within your understanding of who you actually are. Who you actually are is the light. The core cells within your body are extraordinary. Every single cell 
is made up of molecules. These molecules at their basic level are light. They are light organized into pushing against other light to create matter. Who you are is light pushing against light, pure energy pushing against pure energy for you to fully realize all the thoughts, all that your heart wants, all the emotion, the energy in motion, all of that affects um, the, the light within every molecule, the basic unit, light within your cells, pushing against each other, vibrating together, creates your DNA, creates what you're able to see. There is four billion bits of information coming at you per second. You have to cancel out most of that because you can only interpret 2,000 bits of information in, um, per second. So you cancel out a majority of what you could possibly see or experience in order to make sense of what's all around you. And when you step into the miraculous adult in certain areas of your life, you see the higher possibilities. You see the higher consciousness. Those higher possibilities, those higher consciousness, all of that is living within your body. Those higher possibilities are gauged based on the energy in motion, the emotion that you're expressing. So in Italy, when I was judging myself based on whether the waitress approved of me and the way that I was showing up or not, there less things were being offered to me. The moment that I realized, wow, I am judging myself. I'm not in joy. I'm not in courage with this situation in this current moment. When I transformed myself and said, I said, who would I be without this judgment, without this thought? How would I be showing up? And I went back into joy and I went back into playing with my myself, like thoughts and ideas and words and laughing and enjoying what was there. All of a sudden, the waitress and I were connecting. And because I wasn't dependent, needy on her belonging to the Italian culture or approval of how I was showing up in that moment. I didn't need to control anything. I went into joy. I went into receiving more of the four billion bits of information available to me in that moment because I stepped into joy. Then the in formation showing up for me brought more joy because I stepped into a higher level of joy my reality had to match that thinking that emotion that transmission from my heart so this image here that we're looking at if you're able to see the image it, um, and again I highly recommend watching this on YouTube, we'll, we will release these on YouTube. We do have a Miracle Makers Academy that if you're signed up for the newsletter, you'll get an invite to the Miracle Makers Academy. If you're in the, the um, year coaching program, the year long coaching program, you get these videos and you get so much more. Um, and you get, and if you're doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Only 10 people per year get the one-on-one -on -one coaching where we co-create a program together for you. 
If you're in any one of those programs, you will get this. But we will have this available on YouTube because we want, I want you to know, especially when you're lonely or in darkness, that you're an astonishing being of light. That who you are is pure energy. And the more that you are yourself, the more all of us, uh, all of us, consciously and subconsciously, unconsciously, have permission to be ourselves. No one else can do what you're here to do. And feelings of your heart affect consciousness. We are reality makers. And if we do not like the reality that we're part of, we've got to take responsibility. And we've got to remake ourselves and remake our beliefs. This is part of the reason I love taking people to Egypt and I love taking them to India and to Italy and Ojai, these uh, um, Sedona to San Diego and Sanitas area. Small groups that go with me are able to immerse themselves in a new reality when they have to let go and together we create the miraculous adult that going into flow and you see things open up for you based on your heart because you stepped into trust. Your heart is transmitting a reality. The field of your heart might be miles away. And when it's miles away, when it's stuck in the past or concerned about the future, that activation, that energy that's in your body is negating sometimes what's possible for you in the current moment. When the Dalai Lama comes to town, because there's an understanding for him of his heart field, of his current moment, of how he's co-creating the past, how he's co-creating the future, how the current moment, the energy in motion, the emotion that he's feeling is generating a field of consciousness. If you change your electrical field and the way that you change that electrical field is to feel that you are responsible for what you are creating in the current moment. And if you can find a level of letting go of lower emotions, when I was in that restaurant and in Rome and I was thinking, wow, my Italian, my, the way that I'm showing up here, shame, guilt, grief, um, and an addiction of, I love connecting with people. When I, I have an addiction to connecting with people and wanting to be able to serve them or give to them in some way. This addiction, when I couldn't connect with the waitress in her language completely, I thought that I wouldn't be able to give to her. And that showed up as anger directed towards myself. I, why wasn't I better at my Italian? Or pride. I wanted to be more able to give, and I pride myself on when I stepped out of all of those lower emotions and had the courage to examine what was going on with myself and to share with her in broken Italian and broken English that I just um, wanted to connect with her and got into neutrality. It didn't matter whether she liked me, approved of me or didn't. I stepped into a consciousness that expanded what was possible for both of us rather than contracting i stepped into because we get four billion bits of information per second we can only accept 
2,000 of those. And when I got into a higher state of consciousness, the what I was accepting, those 2,000 bits of information, gloriously those, uh, changed to flow it, more into magic, more into the light of who I was being. It's so beautiful for you to step into. There are certain feelings that contract us. Whenever we feel shame and it's subtle energy, you've got to notice, are you shaming yourself? Are you guilting yourself? Are you in apathy or grief or fear? Are you in desire that is negating desire and it, uh, desire from the word meaning addiction? I was addicted to people approving of me. I am and was a people pleaser. And so that addictive way of being was not my pure consciousness. And when I noticed, wow, I, I really want this person to approve of me or to like me. When I, when I acknowledge that addiction desire to myself and surrender it, God at source universe, I have no, uh, no possible effect on whether another human being is going to approve of me. Only I and God, source, the universe, can approve of me. Because I'm responsible for how I show up in the world. When I, when I name it, I have power over it. Pride, desire, all anger. And um, anger isn't necessarily bad unless we don't recognize it. Many people go into rage or go into anger and broadcast it, not realizing they're co-creating the exact thing to wake themselves up to know exactly what it is that that we they i want if you're angry about something it's because there's a deep-seated want desire need intention within yourself and when you identify what need isn't being met and you can then you have words for the feeling anger you then have power over it you can move into uh, from getting by into flow into pure being into pure consciousness so when oprah shows up anywhere but when um, Jim Carrey shows up places, people are happy to see that, whether they're coming or going. And it's really beautiful. Mother Teresa, the same way, they got into courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance of who they are. They created um, ultimate reasons possibility reasons for their for their existence so each of them being exactly who they are unapologetically it takes courage to be you to free yourself from the negative thought patterns that keep you stuck that old saying what you resist persists and here, I'd love to go into a guided meditation for you. And so as long as you're not in a car or driving or somewhere that you need to be fully alert, I'd love for you to participate in this. And again, we're going to make this available for you, whether it's the Miracle Makers Academy or in one of the coaching programs. You'll have access to that by being signed up for the newsletter. 
it's through our newsletter we'll invite you to all the different things that we're doing we're going into season three of miracle makers on ubn network as well so you'll get announcements of that and what's coming up for that so just taking this moment this guided meditation that we're going to go on this is different from the one that we did yesterday and so yesterday we did a miraculous adult self um, future self visualization I'd love for you to go back and do that one when we release the video and again it'll be in the newsletter and today's content is completely different from all previous content yesterday's talk on the five vibrational levels of self for manifesting today's is completely different and this guided meditation again completely different from yesterday's but i highly recommend you go back and watch that you'll get great um, bits of information that can really help you i want you to know the light that you are i want you to create from you are so beautiful inside and out if you could just see the astonishing light that you are the love that you are what you're here to create wow wow what a miraculous world we live in so if you're able to please go ahead and uncross your legs uncross your arms and I want you to begin focusing on your breath. Go ahead and gently close your eyes. Allow yourself to picture and imagine that instead of being here, you were lying in a meadow, a beautiful, lush, green meadow. And as you're lying gently in the grass of this meadow, you feel totally peaceful, totally nourished. You are nurtured in the warmth of Mother Earth. As you lie there feeling so complete and so safe and nurtured, a cloud comes floating down out of the sky and slips underneath you and carries you into the sky and as you're being carried up into the sky you feel totally safe and at peace the whole time as the cloud starts to descend towards the earth again you intuitively know you are not returning to the same space you are in before you are returning to your sanctuary you're returning to this place that you feel is created in your heart for you as the cloud is bringing you down towards your sanctuary you know you are safe you know this place and repeated listening of this allows you to do this over and over again this sanctuary has been created for you by you in order to do all of the work that your soul your energy your pure energy is here to do you notice the way to enter your sanctuary you get a sense and an essence of your sanctuary there's one word that describes the feeling of your sanctuary notice that word Notice how you feel as you're entering your sanctuary. The first room cleanses you, clears you, washes you, bathes you in pure light. You move in 
through your sanctuary. And there are so many rooms, beautiful rooms in this sanctuary. You move into the heart of the sanctuary where you do your best work. You notice there is a comfortable place for you to sit. And next to this comfortable place is an extraordinary crib. You walk up to the crib and you recognize there is a baby. This baby is you. This beautiful being, this baby, has just been born. You scoop yourself up and you let the baby know everything you did is okay. You can trust yourself, baby. Every decision, every choice, everything is forgiven, everything okay. You made it. You made it to the age you are now. The baby so comforted by you. You let the baby know you love it. And you notice that there is a second crib. This is the one-year-old you. Everything is forgiven. You let the one-year-old you know. The one-year-old lets the baby know in baby language, you made it. Everything's forgiven. Everything let go. You guys did it. You let the baby, the one-year-old, embrace and feel your love. So safe. You notice a five-year-old in the room. This is the five-year-old you. You let the five-year-old know every choice, everything is forgiven. Everything is good. Let go. The baby, the one-year-old, the five-year-old, you embrace you. You're so beautiful. You let all the younger ones know. You let them know, don't doubt yourself. You made all the right decisions. You're here. You made it. You see the 10-year-old coming in. This extraordinary, beautiful 10-year-old. Every decision, everything is okay. Every thought, every emotion, every decision, Every choice, you let all of them know you're more than enough. You let all of them know you've got this. They can let you see into them. You let them know everything, everything, everything's okay. You made it. Every decision, every thought, every process, forgiven. You are in integrity with yourself. You see the 20-year-old you coming in. So, so lovely. All of the younger ones see the 20-year-old. You see the 20-year-old embracing, loving, nurturing all of the younger ones. Every decision forgiven, everything okay, every choice, everything healing now, everything being made whole. Every part of you knowing you're okay, you're safe, you're stable. You've got vitality and health. You can do anything. You have transformed your life. 
everything forgiven, all the negative thought patterns, anything you felt was your fault, any level of shame is now let go and transformed. You see an older version of you sitting in the comfortable chair. The essence of your very being, this one that has already made it, has already created all that you're here to co-create with the universe, the miraculous adult. The miraculous adult looks at you and says you made it. Every choice, every decision, everything is okay. Notice how you feel in this space with your miraculous adult. This miraculous adult, this future self, embracing you, loving you, speaks the essence of who you are. They've got a very particular gift for you, a symbol that is all yours, the essence of who you are. Take a look at this symbol, this gift from your miraculous adult, from your miraculous self, the one that's connected, radiating, co-creating, Special wisdom, special knowledge is in this beautiful gift, this beautiful symbol for you. This gift, this symbol, this sign allows for you to know when your miraculous self is communicating with you. I want you to thank the miraculous adult, your future self, for showing up for you. I want you to take time now to look at the all the younger yous and let them receive from the miraculous adult let them receive from you. Let them receive all the prayers, all the good intentions that have been created for you. Let yourself, all of you, receive your wholeness. Will you be made whole? You are whole. Your heart, your body, your mind, clear mind, your heart open, everything, anything, all of it possible. The miraculous adult, the magi, the magician within you, the magi, this future self, fully connected and activated living in flow in any area that needs shifting, your symbol, your miraculous adult, simply calling on yourself, simply breathing deeply, saying the word clear mind, open heart, relaxed being, deep breaths in, Remembering this meditation allows the miraculous adult, allows you to fully let yourself take over, go into the flow, become current with the now moment, 
to raise your vibration. Your miraculous self, your miraculous adult, your future self begins adjusting aspects of you right now. Made whole. You are whole. You thank all the younger ones, all of them, yes, made whole. The child, the adolescent, the young adult, the true adult, the miraculous adult. All of them freed from negative thought patterns. Whenever negative thought patterns come up, a new way of thinking, a new way of being, new possibilities open up for you. You will express them. Your life, your mind, your energy transformed. Allowing yourself to feel this now, it is done. Deeply listening to yourself, deeply listening moment to moment, deeply generating deep levels of integrity. You are made whole, everything forgiven, every aspect of you embraced. You say one last goodbye, one last thank you, one last integration with all of your younger selves. Anytime they need you, they will show up and let you know and you simply seeing the symbol, the gift given to you by your miraculous adult will begin the healing process. Each of the younger ones, each of you, the miraculous adult knows that you're welcome to return at any time to your sanctuary. You're welcome to your wholeness, to your sanctuary, to your miraculous adult at any time you choose. Simply saying clear mind, open heart, relaxed being. Simply saying that, simply thinking that, simply seeing your gift allows you to return anytime you choose. Taking all of this in, now move to the point where you originally came down on the cloud to see your sanctuary. Moving back to that area, you notice that the cloud is there waiting for you. That magical cloud, gently Lay yourself down. It safely lifts you up and carries you up into the sky safely, securely transporting you back to the present time. You see the cloud floating down and bringing you back into this place that you are in right now. As you are placed into the present, and come back, start feeling the floor beneath you. Start feeling your hands, your fingers, start feeling your body, and as you feel ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Open your eyes when you are ready, and stay clear mind, open heart, relaxed being. Coming back in fully.
I'm so, so glad that you melt your miraculous adult, that you got into ultimate consciousness. And again, this recording will be available for you to be able to go in and create, co-create whenever necessary. I just want to share with you, starting January 13th, we're going into the weekly coaching program. And it is, I'm just so excited for those that are joining. It's open enrollment. What that means is whenever you're ready to join the program, you're welcome to join. All you have to do is um, be accepted, one. You have to do an, uh, um, an application. And those that are right for this program, those that are ready for this level of consciousness, have, have demonstrated things in their past that they're ready to have the fun exercises and processes can start the weekly coaching program. And um, we'll have a toolbox, tools, sets, Every week that we work together, you receive weekly Zoom meetings. We have all of them recorded. You have full access to the Miracle Manifestation Method. It's a 10-module online course. That course, um, right now, again, everyone who signed up for January 13th will receive that package and the information from already it should come out later today or tomorrow you also get access to the full miracle makers academy if you're part of there's only 10 people that i take on now for yearly coaching and that's an application process you have to be in one of the programs or have met me and been accepted and offered that because we're here to do global work. I'm working with some really amazing global um, uh, programs right now, some in Egypt, some in India, some um, throughout the world. So I do offer private coaching. Only 10, 10 people are part of that program. Then we've got the weekly group coaching. I'm so grateful we have so many people that are part of that. And then we've got the Miracle Makers Academy that will be fully released, but it's a ten it's a ten dollar membership monthly for the Miracle Makers Academy. And then we've got um, for those doing the year long coaching four exclusive full day workshops in Los Angeles area that will also occur by Zoom, and we'll have dates. For on that coming out soon. Again, sign up for the newsletter. You'll get all of this information and um, you will have access to who you truly are in all of this world for you to be the pure energy, not limited by your body, not limited by your thinking. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. And I want for you to know the astonishing light of your being. So thank you for participating in this. Um, to be invited, you simply send me an email at drsarah at drsarahlarson.com or you call me at 424-757-4197 and we get you started into the program that might fit for you. Um, and all of that is based on being able to accept you. In the past, I thought I could do it all. It's really funny. Maybe I think I can go out of this. Sweetheart, is the right button is Tom. Wonderful. Yeah. And then here we go. Um, so I, I'm, I used to think I could help every single person and everyone that came along. And now I recognize that I really can help 10 people a year. I can do these group coaching programs. What I've already built in the Miracle Makers Academy, we're going to structure it in a way that 
um, those that come in, we can give the maximum degree with time. And then on Miracle Makers, on UBN Network, we can give to everybody. So I'm just so excited that we figured this out in a manner that really, really works for me, for those that are coming in to my circle, I want to be able to give to everyone. And we figured out a way to do that and consistently creating the pure light energy that you are. I love you because I see you as another version of me. I fully understand oneness um, from the near death experiences that I've had. And I love that you are on this and that we were able to co-create with consciousness for you. I'm going to take um, the first people that came. Uh, just one thing. If you want, there's a chat section. If you want to type a question in, you can type it in on the chats or, or say hi or, you know, or comment on anything. That's, that's I, been I don't know if when we muted all of that muted everybody. I don't know if it mutes the chat. The okay. chat, you should be able to still chat. So I'm going to unmute all. No, don't unmute all. Just unmute no, one at a time. One at a time. Yeah. Okay. So I see there's an iPhone participant. I'm going to unmute. No, but, well, Shar is next. Shar was the first one. Shar was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to unmute Shar. Shar, you're unmuted. Are you able to hear? Are you able for us to hear you, Shar? I don't know. Welcome, can, Char. Can you hear me? I can hear. Uh, if, you, if you toggle your mouse over your screen, you'll see that there is a microphone on the bottom left. Although we've unmuted you, but there's Char, also... Char, yeah. you're, you're unmuted if you want to share anything. There's not a mic microphone. Okay, anymore. well, if you want to type some a message, if you would like to talk or like to coach, otherwise we can just move on to the next person. There's someone else. Yes. So you can mute Char again, then we'll move I'm, on to the next person. I'm going to, and so Sarah Bita, thank you. Hey, second meditation was incredible, is what San, um, Sarah Bita shared. Sarah Bita, I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to unmute Sandra and see. I think Sandra was next to come yeah. on. Sandra, if you toggle the mouse over your screen, we'll you'll her, see. Let talk first. Are you there, Sandra? Can you hear us? Yep. Yes, I am. Thank you. I see your mouth moving. Oh, yeah. You have to unmute your uh, mic then. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and unmute your mic. Hi. 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 Oh, oh we, we still, still can't hear you. We can't hear you yet. <laughs> Let's see if uh, you toggle your mouse and there's a, a microphone. Yeah, it, it seems to be. Maybe just unmute all, baby, and try uh, that. Let me, let me try unmute Well, all. it's up right there, right there, yeah. Uh, okay, everybody's unmuted, and then I, I'm going to. Uh, just can't sh our, who's this again? Sandra. Sandra, can you, are you able to talk again or no, or? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we unfortunately we can't hear you. I'm not um, for sure why. So sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Be, <laughs> it's sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you have a question you can type in? Can you type something in? Oh, you can hear Sandra. Um, so other people are saying they are able to hear Sandra, but oh. we're not able to. So I wonder what that is. Is your, um, so what does that mean right yeah, there? Yeah. It, uh, nope, that's speaker. Yeah, no. Okay, Hi. now we can hear Hi, you. Sorry Sandra. about that. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was our end. Um, I just loved everything. everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, what would you share? Oh, no, you just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just muted you again. Hold on, hold on. Okay, no. go on, now you can share. <laughs> uh, everything was about my heart expansion. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. And Sandra, I can really see for you um, a transformation that's happening. There's so much about your family that allows you to be able to fully function. Um, the love that you have for them really transports so much. And it's interesting because you're, what's coming in for you is 
you're such a great you have a PhD in thinking about others. Like you really, really think about others. And one of the areas to begin to understand in your life is most people around you don't think to the degree that you do. Um, and from childhood, you had this huge heart and ability to give, and you figured out ways to give to others. Most of the people around you do not have that level of consciousness. And as long as you don't take it personally, it's not just towards you, it's towards everybody. And you slow down, and when you ask for things or what you want, you let other people know that just from one tiny step like one of the things that I would recommend you get great at in 2018 but is to share like the gift that you can give others is sharing with them one tiny thing that they could give back to you because people around you want to give to you and love you and nurture but they're overwhelmed because you're so generous and so um, and you haven't necessarily made it easy for them to understand how to give to you. Does that sound accurate? It does. Okay, somehow this got muted again. Uh, okay, awesome. Now we can hear you if you want to share words too. Um, um, I could I just, just say, you know, you know about, about my life and about. And about um, the new, new process process made made it free. Free. beautiful I'm so so glad and I'm so grateful you were here I look forward to the next time we get to interact and Sandra how did you hear about this today um, um, through, 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 Holman. Holman. For, through Dr. Holman mm -hmm. oh that's so wonderful I'm so glad you're here Sandra love you thank, thank you. you you're so welcome and anything else you'd like to share before we move on? I know Alana was the next person that came on board. Thank you so much for being here, Sandra. Thank you. What did you want to share about the guided meditation? Uh, I mean, you asked her if she sure. Do you want to share about the guided meditation? I also I'll liked the second one. The second one. Oh, good. I'm so glad. That's so, so wonderful. And it's such a beautiful gift to give yourself to do this over and over again and to recognize all of the different stages um, there as well. Uh, not seeing outside of you, but inside of you. That's the real thing. Yes. <laughs> That's the real thing. Really within you. Love you. I'm, I'm sending you hugs. We'll, we'll see each other soon, I hope. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So, Alana, you're unmuted. You have to click on her thing so you go over to her. Yeah. There you go. Hi, Alana. Anything you want to share? Oh, that's so funny. I've been able to hear everyone. So let's go back to Shar for a second. Sure. Alana, are you able to join us? She might not be on screen, so let's mute because uh, she's not on screen. Um, so go back to Shar. Shar, it might have been on our end. Can you okay. hear me? I can hear yeah. you. <laughs> and sweetheart, I'm from Santa Barbara, and you and I got in an embrace that I'll never forget the rest of my life. Uh, I love you so much, and you've helped me so much. I've been following you since you've been here in Santa Barbara at the center of the heart. Um, yeah, we're up to less, less full. Yeah, 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 thank you, Char, so much. And I do remember the embrace as well. So uh, wonderful. Is there any question I can answer for you or any process? What was the meditation like for you? It was heaven. I feel so renewed and so loved. And um going back and loving all those parts of my life when I was little, uh, I, I just feel beautiful, renewed. I'm 82. 
and I feel 21. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's so, so beautiful. And it's, it's fun for me to really share. We have the possibility of getting younger and younger and younger. And some of the people that I was working with in Egypt, literally, um, the pictures that we were taking from before to the pictures after, they gained 20 years back. Oh, wow. And so I love that you have gained 60 years. Um, that's so, so beautiful. One of the things that was so touching for me is when you talked about your beginnings. And my, I think if you remember, my beginnings were the same. And with all the men and the problems uh, of being kidnapped. Um, anyway, uh, you just are so close to me you're in my heart all the time thank you Shar, so much you're so close to me and you're in my heart all the time i look forward to the next time we connect and we do santa barbara has been in our prayers so much we did some processes in um in mm. egypt for them as well and so um thank you so much for bringing light to santa barbara bringing yourself here and i, I look forward to our next meeting me too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I think we have time for one more. Go to Tima here. Yeah. Tima. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Tima. Hello. Can you hear me? I yeah. can hear you. Oh, it was so fun. I feel like this was just such a wonderful introductory experience, it feels like, in many ways for me. So really nice to see you and i'm so excited to be around more often and be um connected i'm so glad that you're connected tima and there's is there um because this will be watched and experienced over and over again we've got about um a million hits on facebook and uh, on youtube and all of the different social media so tima i'd love for you to introduce yourself to the audience because I know you're stepping out um, into the next miraculous version of yourself. And so just introduce yourself and what you do. Sure, um, I'm Tima and I'm a counselor. I live in Montana um, and I, I work with people. I do a lot of work with um, survivors of trauma and particularly sexual abuse and so um, just, and, and I also am just a person wanting to be um, meaningful and offer the most that I can to everyone around me here and um, and also um, yeah just the world in general <laughs> um, I guess I am um, yeah and I, this is this is a big step for me it was something that I just did um, kind of on inspiration and I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Um, I really appreciated the guided meditation. I love experiences like that and felt it so much. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Tima. And um, your essence, your pure light has gone through so much for others. It's like you've been a social worker your whole life <laughs> to some degree. And the social work that you've been doing helps the compassion inside you really helps other people so beautifully and 2018 is about integrating and becoming part of that for yourself for you to be able to give to yourself as well because some of and this was me me too as well i didn't factor myself into the equations uh, the giving and receiving aspect. I always became part of the source of giving. And that's what's really being integrated for you. Anyone that's been your friend is so lucky to have been and to be on this or your client or working with you because you give to the maximum degree that you can give from. And so I so love that the processes that you've, that you'll be doing will really integrate being able to receive for yourself from yourself and co-create for yourself, not just for others. Thank you so much. That's just a blessing to hear. And I'm so grateful. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for joining us <laughs> so much. And I, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow it's finally here. So yeah. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye for now. Yeah. So um, I know Marie, Maria, um, I'm going to click on you for a second because I so love that you're here. Maria, hi. Can you hear us? Hi, Maria. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on just for a second. Somehow you're still, um, let's see, how do I make this? So we see you. Hi, love. What a treat to see you. And we'll set it up. I oh, and we can't hear you. So I don't know if that's us again or I don't know what you did, my love. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, so right here, maybe if you click right there. No. Unmute all again. Okay, can you? Maria. No. I think I'm... other people can probably hear. Can our we set up oh, there, there we go. go now we can hear you awesome okay <laughs> yay wait i'm coming you? back i'm coming back oh here we go yay. good it's so wonderful to connect with both of you it's so great to hear your voice and to see your beautiful face like always same yeah. here. Happy 2018. <laughs> yes, happy 2018. And you know, I, I came in, I've I've only been on for, I think I came in when you had started the meditation already. And I was so silenced as soon as I heard you in that space that I literally, I think I fell asleep for <laughs> a, like a couple of minutes towards the end because I, it just went into such a peaceful space. And I thought, I remember what this voice sounds like and what and how it connects to my soul. So really and just so much appreciation. Ah, thank gratitude. you. So much appreciation and gratitude to you. I love seeing you. And I know it's this divine appointment, like that whole the, a higher level of consciousness playing and coming okay. into the world. So thank you. Anything you want to share? You know, it's, it's, uh, it's that basically Dr. Sarah, like just finding and hearing. Um, and I definitely want to do, you know, be, um, be fair and go back and listen to, you know, the webinar and honor your time with everyone here in the space. And, and with that, the feeling that I'm getting and what, what called me to, you know, connecting today is just knowing that, that you are, that your energy and that your spirit is, is always uh, flying and, and hovering over everyone that you're being called to and that it's being called to you and knowing that there's always such depth of love and insight, you know, in navigating this lifetime that is an automatic um, fruitful connection you know, on, on any level, whether it's here in video or whether it's just by, you know, heartfelt connection. Awesome. So it, it's that, it's just feeling you and Greg and, and knowing that love, that very um, sincere, that sincere um, presence. Thank you so much, Maria. I love you and we'll see you tomorrow as well. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sounds you. Good. Thank you. You're so welcome. And I think um, there are, everyone is unmuted pretty much that well, it has no, muted, all, no, all muted. Yeah, right yeah. now that has so right up here anyone oh, who okay, hasn't yeah, yeah, muted themselves go. if you want to say hi really quickly please say hi there's a lot of people that are unmuted and your face will pop across the screen and we'll all have this collective yumminess hello hi <laughs> hi who is <laughs> say your name Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. Yay. So glad you're here. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Happy New Year. You too. And, and I love how brave you're being because sometimes it's so hard. There's so many people here and it's hard to um, be brave. And I love that. Um, Disha, can you hear us? <laughs> I think she's muted. Maybe. Oh, yeah. We'll unmute for a second. Anyone else that wants to say hi, say hi, say your name. 
Hi, this is Beverly from Tennessee. Hi, yeah. Beverly. We love Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee in the house. <laughs> so good to see you, Dr. Sarah and Greg. Yay. I, I unfortunately missed the meditation because we had a little snowstorm going on here in Tennessee, so I had to zip out to this grocery store. Oh, awesome. Well, this will be, uh, well, as long as you're signed up for the newsletter, it'll go out through the newsletter. Okay, great, great. You'll be able to catch that. And I'd, I'd love for you to share it with those that you think it might benefit. Um, this is for everybody. Quite often, it's ourself not being able to forgive and embrace ourselves that limits our ability to co-create. So I'd love for you to share even just the meditation part with anyone that you love. Um, it will make a major difference. And so thank you guys so, so much for being here. And again, we'll, we're season three of Miracle Makers is starting soon. And so we'll have so many great guests coming on for you. And Miracle Makers Academy, the the weekly coaching and as much as we can um, the the 10 people that are working one-on-one -on -one, as much as we can we will find you this year and work with you and whether you're in Santa Barbara Ojai or Sedona we love Nashville and we've been mm -hmm. looking for New York City too um, ways to get out there and I love seeing you, Priscilla. I see your beautiful face. I'm so glad. And uh, Audrey, I love that you're here. Hi. <laughs> happy, happy new year. And so, and Sarah Bita on the East Coast and Disha and um, Alana, there's um, Lori and Beverly, what a treat. And the 424 number doesn't have a name. They're so, so I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning on the weekly coaching. And if not there soon on Miracle Makers, baby, is there anything you want to um, say before? Let's see if I can go back to our screen. No. You want to jump in? Greg, one of, uh, jump in for a second, baby. Um, one of the things that will be on Miracle Makers Academy is Greg has been coaching and educating on Eckhart Tolle's work, The Power of Now, um, A New Earth. He's a master at opening your heart frequency. And so that is part of what's coming up in 2018. A lot of that in Miracle Makers Academy Guided Meditations, Eckhart Tolle's work, latest work, and heart activations through this sound bowl and through the songs that Mr. Bring on the Boom. <laughs> hey, Raffi, if we're not clear, it's the Miracle Makers Academy. Is an, it's like a Netflix. You pay $10 a month. You have access to this amazing 10-module course called the Miracle Manifestation Method. And then we're going to have ongoing guided meditations, ongoing healings, ongoing classes with Dr. Sarah for $10 a month. So that's going to be our huge focus for 2018. We were inspired by Brian Johnson, uh, his, his whole goal. He has a $10 per month subscription service, and it's, his, his manifesto was the best content to the most people for the least amount. And so we want you know, healing and the, the, the vibration of the miraculous adult to be spread across the globe. So we're doing this new uh, membership site to facilitate that. So if you're inspired by that, be on the lookout for emails and information because next week we're going to launch our Miracle Makers Academy and start 2018 off with, uh, you know, a fun project. And we're going to, you know, there's going to be much more coming. We're just getting started with dreaming up ways to give back and to serve and to heal and to activate miracles and all that good stuff. So get ready for that coming up here next week. So awesome. Love you guys yes. so much. Thank you for sharing that, baby. And so we'll see you soon. Happy 2018. Happy everything. And just really remember, I love that Hafiz I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, 
the astonishing light of your being. And anytime you are not your highest version of yourself, to sit in and remind yourself of what lights you up and what lights you up will light your astonishing being will light up our world so thank you love you and we'll see you guys soon bye for now bye